As I'm told, uh, yesterday in Red Bank Village, uh, a group of our campaigners, they were uh, agitated, they were baited by members of the opposition and supporters of the opposition uh, interfering with flags and posters that were on uh, a vehicle. And of course, that caused some uh, problems uh, that ended up in a police officer firing two warning shots after machetes came out uh, from some of these folks who were, uh, of course, harassing our, uh, our supporters. Now, we don't want to get into the kind of back and forth that that kind of situation can bring. Uh, so I will ask all our supporters, and um, we know that it is a very, very, very critical time uh, political-wise, and we know that, uh, of course, the UDP is the incumbent and uh, we will be baited on many occasions. Of course, our position of them not stoning empty mango tree is very, very uh, prevalent. It's very much at the forefront. The UDP is the target for, for many, and so I appeal to our supporters not to be baited by the opposition or anybody else, and please let us conduct our activities in the UDP. Uh, my appeal is also for the wider uh, country for us to conduct these electoral activities as peacefully as we possibly can.